Hi, this is Chris Davis from Slash Gear, and I'm here in Barcelona for Mobile World Congress 2015, and I've got the new HP Spectre X360. It's the company's latest ultra-portable laptop, the latest in the Spectre series, and this is the uh, Windows PC notebook that they think is going to take on uh, Apple's MacBook Air. It's an impressive aluminum machine, uh, has a 13.3 inch display, uh, full keyboard, uh, backlit of course, uh, this is the uh, full HD uh, touchscreen version, though there will be a quad HD version too, and of course it runs uh, Windows 8.1 at the moment with a Windows 10 update when that's uh, ready to be released. 3.26 pounds um, or less, the quad HD version is actually a little bit less than that, and when closed it's just 15.9 millimeters thick, which means it's a really, really poor portable lightweight machine. The hinges on the back you might see are pretty special and that's because they're actually full 360 degree hinges so this is one of those notebooks which converts all the way around into a tablet form factor and rotates obviously to suit so it's still just about light enough for you to hold with one hand probably for anything longer than uh, uh, casual browsing you'll want to prop it up on your lap or in the crook of your arm but it also means that you can stand it up and use it for presentations or if you're on a plane such as to Barcelona for instance you can turn it around and even if the person in the seat in front of you puts their seat all the way back uh, you can still uh, watch uh, Netflix on the Windows Netflix app for instance and while you're doing that there's a pretty impressive battery life too so uh, HP's been working really closely with Microsoft on everything down to the uh, removing the disk activity light because that was using a few milliamps of power and so they've managed to squeeze 12 and a half hours of battery out of this uh, for a single day and with different things like kind of adjusting how the processor and the graphics work and how it they kick in when you're watching things like the Netflix app uh, you get um, a lot more time with this than a comparable Windows machine or indeed um, they're talking about it being very competitive with a MacBook Air. A couple of other nice features the uh, keyboard has a full 1.5 millimeter pitch and HP has worked really hard to make sure that the, the feel of the keys is great it's actually a really nice um, typing experience even though it's an ultra portable uh, the trackpad on the bottom is glass uh, it's pretty responsive that feels great and it's extra wide as well as so you do get more room for Windows gestures and that will also be even more important when you have the extra Windows gestures in Windows 10 the hinges are pretty special too uh, HP's done a lot of work on making them sort of low profile and so that even when uh, you rotate the screen around it changes the torque uh, rate so that uh, it's suitable for whatever kind of position you're going to be holding it in. So the talk for having the screen upright like that is going to be slightly different to having the screen upright like that, which makes a very small amount of difference perhaps, but it does mean that HP is saying that in three years' time, you know, this hinge mechanism will feel just as sturdy as it does on day one. And speaking of day one, that's going to be March 15th in Best Buy with a 999 configuration, though there will be a uh, 899 configuration as well. Following on in April, there'll be the Quad HD version. Um, and that's using full uh, Core i5 and Core i7 processors uh, with uh, all solid state memory, um, full size ports, three USB ports, all with charge and uh, support even while the notebook's powered off, uh, full size HDMI, uh, mini display port, and you get a Ethernet dongle uh, to plug into one of the USB ports in the box. All in all, it's a really impressive Windows notebook, but what really singles this out is the degree to which HP and Microsoft have worked together. Everything from the very smallest kind of tweaks, such as how what order the drivers boot up in um, when it loads up, little things like that, which cumulatively mean that you have a, a faster, more responsive notebook and one that just kind of feels more cohesive. Uh, so it starts, resumes from sleep in 3.2 seconds, goes into sleep in 1.7 seconds. It's just a lot quicker than you might expect from even a high-end notebook from another Windows OEM. HP is saying that that's something they're going to carry forward, though maybe it's not going to be quite to the same OCD extent in some of their more affordable notebooks. But if one of the reasons you've kept away from Windows PCs and Windows notebooks in the past and stuck maybe to OS X is Apple's kind of cohesiveness of hardware and software, then this is definitely a sign that HP and Microsoft are looking to do something different along those lines. It'll be out in March from 899. Uh, we'll have a full review up on the site very soon. This is Chris Davis of Slash Gear in Barcelona for Mobile World Congress 2015. Thanks very much for watching.